Scorpio, this is going to be a reading from for July 29th to August 4th. And I'm going to start you off with an oracle card from the uh, Spirit of the Animals. Um, oracle deck. So, let's see. You get the Elk. Nobility. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so... Let's see what the cards are saying about that. Um, this is going to be a spread that's going to tune into your uh, recent past. Your current energies and your uh, immediate future. And then I'm going to pull up an advice card for you. Please be a good reading for Scorpio. You've had your ups and downs. Let's see what's happening. The overall energy for this reading is the Two of Swords. Somebody cannot make up their mind about something in regards to whatever's happening here. In your recent past, you get Judgment, Five of Cups, and the Lovers. You are very, very depressed about a situation concerning a commitment here. A very solid, stable commitment. You are very depressed about something that happened there. You may have felt that things weren't necessarily fair. You may have waited for things to get balanced in some way here, but whatever the energy was overall, it was making you feel very, very depressed. You weren't happy with whatever was happening in this connection here. In your current energy, you get the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Normally, the Knight of Pentacles would head straight towards the partnership card here, the Three of Pentacles, with a loving offer. But the way the cards are looking right now, it's looking like the Knight of Swords is getting out of this partnership here. It could involve a um, third party situation here. So you may be leaving somebody to head towards somebody else or somebody may be leaving you to head towards somebody else or you may just be dropping this even though you love this person in your immediate future you get the five of pentacles the six of wands and the six of cups Yeah, I feel like there's a third party going on. And somebody's going to be cut off. Somebody's going to be dropped. So that the true lovers here can work things out. And can be successful towards this connection here. Let's clarify things. Uh, let's clarify the Two of Swords. Let's see what that indecision is about. Somebody's unhappy in a connection here, in a very committed relationship here. Somebody, one of you, if, if not even the both of you, are very unhappy about the way things are going currently in this situation, in this marriage, possibly. 
And I feel like the both of you are trying to figure out how to make things work, even if that means bailing. And none of you currently is decided on what to do next. You can see a way to work things out here. In your, um, in your recent past, let's clarify the Five of Cups. So, because you show up here as a clarifier, I feel like this is you possibly leaving something behind in regards to this connection. I don't know what. I'm not feeling like it's the person that you're leaving the person behind, although it could be. You may have left. But you are leaving something behind here, some past hurt, something that hurt you very, very bad in the past. You're putting it behind. And it's looking like you're successful at it. You know, that's what happened in the past. You've gone through something and you came out pretty good out of it. Uh, let's clarify the um, Knight of Swords here in your current energy. Let's see whether, where this guy is going because apparently he's going away from this partnership. Somebody's resisting a connection here. I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's your person. Somebody is resisting for things to happen. Um, and one person, which maybe the other person is holding on, not you, your other person, maybe holding on to this. Uh, for some reason, like stubbornly trying to make this work over and over again, but not really considering a better option to make things work. You know, they're kind of repeating the same old pattern. Like, it's clearly not making either of you happy, but they're kind of doing the same thing over and over again. And they think, you know, that's how they're going to fix this. But I don't think it's happening like that. Let's uh, clarify the uh, hmm, the Three of Pentacles in your current energy. Let's see if we can go get more information on that. So either you or your person definitely have dealt with somebody in your past that you thought of this person as being your soulmate. Either you or your person has somebody like that in their lives. And um, it's showing up again in their energies, theirs or yours, whoever is dealing with the other person here. It's showing up again. I don't think that that person is interfering directly into the connection, your connection, but the fact that they're showing up again is telling me that that may be the cause of your problems here. Somehow. You... You may feel that your person is thinking of somebody else or your person may feel like you're thinking about somebody else from the past here. That's why you can't really work things out yet. Let's clarify the Five of Pentacles in your immediate future. Let's see who's going to be left out in the cold here. There's going to be an offer made here. A slow moving offer. Uh, possibly to a fire sign. 
or from a fire sign and it is gonna be leaving somebody left out here um, hmm. I don't usually hang on to third-party situations, but it keeps popping up for you here. So I'm sorry if, you know, I'm insisting on that, but every time I clarify, it's shown up. Even in, in the first part where I didn't clarify, it kind of came up. But now, every time I clarify, there's the energy of somebody else in the cards here, besides you and your person. So if things are shaky with you two, it's because of that. So let's pull up an advice for you. Let's see what that has to say for you. I feel like you're going to talk to this person and you're going to tell them, look, I want to build this with you. I want to build this life together with you. And you're, 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 it's looking like you know what you want here. And you're going to approach this person and you're going to tell them, which I think is about time to do that. If things are in a place where neither of you know exactly what's happening, but you kind of want this, somebody should talk. And I feel like it's going to be you. And you're going to be like, what are we doing here? Are we in this? Are we not? What's happening? Like clarifying things, you know? And then take it from there. See where things are going. Yeah. Uh, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I really tried to make it a good, good reading for you guys because you're really needing that. But that's what the card said. So I will see you next time. Bye.